Hi everyone, this is Gene for a new episode of Aranda Power and today I want to talk a little bit more about goldfish uh, water and temperature requirement uh, because a few days ago when I uh, ju just before I went for camping for a few days uh, I posted a video and a few people have actually commented uh, a really interesting subject so uh, Chris won BXL and uh, Caitlin, so female fish keeper. I'm going to post a link for both their channel. Uh, I have uh, strongly suggest that I should uh, actually kind of hibernate my goldfish during winter by reducing the uh, the temperature of the water. Um, and yeah, I just want to talk a little bit uh, about this interesting uh, subject. So, for what I understood um, and from all the research I did today, um, <coughs> it is true that um, goldfish, when you keep them in pond, um, the best way to really um, to really uh, declench spawning behaviors is by uh, making your goldfish experience winter and by doing that uh, especially for goldfish in pond um, you want to uh, provide them with cooler temperature uh, f like about um, 15 to 60 degree Fahrenheit uh, during winter and then r uh, rise quite a lot the temperature during spring uh, and at around 78 Fahrenheit uh, the goldfish will spawn so there is quite a big range of temperature uh, gap and as uh, Chris one BXL explained to me uh, that entire process actually um, help the goldfish uh, have a longer life uh, because the fact is if you keep your goldfish all year long in tropical water chances are your goldfish is uh, stressing right now and he uh, he's having uh, issues with his intern, uh, internal uh, organs and um, his whole metabolism is uh, speeding up and when your metabolism is speeding up um, chances are you're getting older than you should um, but what about uh, first of all, fancy goldfish, and what about uh, fish that you're keeping indoors? So, I did a lot of research, and um, for the most part, what I've uh, read if, is if you're not keeping your goldfish outside, uh, at least for a part of the year, and if you are not interested in spawning, and by the way, I'm not even sure if my uh, of the sex of my goldfish. I always assume that Ghost was a male and RP was a female. Although I sincerely think that both are females because I never see a um, spawning star in at uh, either of them. Um, but uh, according to my research, if you're not um, spawning a goldfish, you should really just keep your uh, temperature at uh, around 22 uh, degrees Celsius being the ideal condition but you can really just do a range of uh, 23 degrees to uh, 18 degrees Celsius uh, 22 being really the the ideal and yeah basically uh, instead of being uh, doing the really big uh, temperature switch uh, according to the season I really uh, kind of do the smaller gap you know so technically the water is uh, all year long uh, from the high 60s to low 70s during the uh, summer I let the water go a little bit uh, cooler this is why uh, sorry not cooler warmer this is why I have the uh, heater even though the heater is set to only uh, get to temperatures of 22 uh, degrees Celsius I'm not sure for um, how many that is in Fahrenheit and then during the winter I actually just remove the uh, heater the heater is there only to uh, ensure that the um, 
the water stay uh, stable and I'm um, the fact is with all the fish I keep uh, for example gold barbs although they are tropical they are also considered to be subtropical and this entire aquarium is set up as a subtropical aquarium so subtropical aquarium is really in, in between uh, really cold water and uh, tropical water and from my understanding goldfish are actually um, uh, subtropical and cold water so they can live in cold water they can live in really cold water but um, only for a few month uh, they they really slow down they really don't eat a lot they, they really become lethargic in cooler water uh, and then when summer comes and then uh, the high temperature comes they become really active again but since I'm not keeping them in a higher temperature during the summer and since uh, they don't think they haven't experienced winter ever uh, I think I'm going to keep them in a subtropical range and yeah basically I just do a few uh, degrees uh, Celsius uh, variation in the water temperature but um, as you can see where is he um, I don't have a Siamese algae eater in there and those fish they are supposed to live in 24 to 26 degrees uh, Fahrenheit I'm sorry I'm, I'm not sure uh, about the Celsius but I think it is like 30, uh, 23 sorry, Celsius I'm really not sure but uh, oh he's right here so I cannot go really low in uh, water temperature because of that fish that fish is actually wild caught there isn't breeding in uh, aquarium at least not uh, not known of um, and usually they don't do well in cold water but as this is subtropical water and only like one or two degrees below what he is uh, supposed to be uh, he have been doing really fine for the uh, the last few months now um, but yeah basically I don't want to and as well as the uh, gold barbs gold barbs can really live in a big range of uh, water temperature they can grow from uh, like 82 uh, degrees Fahrenheit to 70 Fahrenheit um, which tend uh, for like uh, 22 or 21 uh, or even 20 I think Celsius to uh, 30 Celsius I'm really not sh uh, not sure <laughs> how to convert uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius I'm just remembering uh, all those numbers uh, but correct me in the comments if I'm wrong uh, but I'm I know for sure they can live in the water they are right now as well as the Daniels as well as the um, curry duras uh, and everything so I cannot go really uh, that low in uh, temperature so I cannot go to like 10 degrees Celsius by the way uh, my aquarium is in my room so yeah I, I cannot really uh, put the temperature cooler than my uh, temperature in my room and in the in the same time um, I really don't have any place else to keep my aquarium uh, to so any colder place uh, if I had like a big cave uh, or basement sorry uh, that was really cold uh, during winter and then during summer it, it uh, get a big temperature switch maybe that would be great for a goldfish but since I don't have that and since I keep my goldfish with um, fish that are subtropical which goldfish can really like um, it's ideal uh, water for them as well uh, I'm really not sure I can do big uh, switch and hibernate them so as you can see both are really um, happy and healthy and they are not lethargic and everything and since they are not kept in uh, tropical water uh, in any way in the uh, summer I think they are doing pretty fine with uh, the temperature uh, 
range I've give them, but um, I don't know. It's a it's a really particular subject, and I'm uh, going to do way more research uh, on that. Um, but there is also another thing to consider, and uh, it is that those fish are fancy goldfish, and fancy goldfish are um, compressed body, uh, so they are more weak. Uh, well, they are weaker than um, your common and comet goldfish. You know, uh, common and comets are uh, really good for pond aquarium, but uh, usually fancies. Um, they are advised to only be kept indoor and that's really uh, one of the big reason why I'm reluctant to try hibernating them especially since I'm not trying to breed them especially since uh, they are three and a half years old now and they have never really experienced big uh, switch in the temperature they never been kept in something cooler than room temperature so suddenly um, giving them winter while I didn't prepare them uh, all summer uh, I don't know it, uh, since I don't really have a lot of information about uh, hibernating them and everything I don't want to run the risk uh, this year also um, I'm going to uh, upgrade their aquarium but as I said I want to upgrade uh, the size of the aquarium to allow more type of fish to be kept with goldfish more subtropical fish and most subtropical fish like those gold barbs come from either uh, Asia or um, some part of uh, the Amazonian uh, river or is it a river or a uh, anyway, um, so some parts of the Amazon obviously have really tropical water, but uh, the part really near Chile and everything, um, so in the west coast, yeah, west coast, uh, really near the mountain and everything, those water are really colder than your typical tropical water. They are subtropical actually, uh, as well as most of. Um, well, not most of, because Asia is really a big continent, but a lot of uh, the East uh, countries of Asia have pretty much the uh, similar water condition. So this is why there is a lot of uh, type of barbs that could potentially go with goldfish. So there is the gold barbs, there is obviously the rosy barbs, there is the Odessa barbs, and there is uh, the checkered barbs. Uh, and the black ruby barbs could potentially go with them uh, as well as Daniels obviously and um, e even if uh, Daniels if I recall uh, come from Sri Lanka or Pakistan even um, but all of those countries are kind of uh, in Asia really um, and goldfish come from well they are not found in the wild, but they, um, their ancestor, the carp, uh, come from China, I think. And yeah, basically, goldfish um, have been literally created, uh, I think, a thousand years ago or something, uh, by Chinese emperors. Um, they really are the one that uh, started the old thing with uh, the goldfish. So goldfish are really uh, Asian fish. And that's why I kind of want to keep them with a lot of Asian uh, type of fish. For example, Asian arowana. No, just kidding. Um, but you know, I don't want to do huge um, water uh, temperature switch, uh, switch during the uh, all year long, uh, especially since they are fancies. But for uh, common goldfish, definitely, I, I, um, I would see why you would do that, uh, especially in ponds. And I would also uh, advise you, if you have goldfish, uh, to try that. Maybe it will uh, help them uh, up uh, upgrade their life. Um, especially since goldfish grow quite a lot and allowing them to really grow super fast during the summer and then to really reduce quite a lot during the winter 
uh, can be really good for their metabolism and like uh, Chris one uh, BXL said it can actually um, upgrade their lifespan but if you keep them uh, indoors like uh, like I do uh, keeping them in the low seven seventies to uh, high sixties uh, I strongly believe this is the range of temperature you should um, keep goldfish in uh, because yeah basically goldfish are like uh, pretty much a lot of Asian fish um, they, are, they do uh, survive in cold water but you shouldn't keep them in like 50s uh, Fahrenheit all year long they should uh, be allowed to have uh, higher temperature and this is why goldfish can uh, do well for a while in uh, even temperature as high as the 80s Fahrenheit, but only for really short amount of time. You should never keep them for uh, for all their life in uh, tropical water, because that will really speed speed up their uh, metabolism and might kill them uh, way before they uh, they should die. Even if they they can survive uh, many years in tropical water, uh, at the end of the day, that will uh, do some severe damage to them and reduce uh, their life spent uh, quite significantly um, but yeah since I want to keep uh, the goldfish in a water that I judge to be the ideal uh, according to a lot of my research uh, I'm really not sure about uh, how I could hibernate but I w uh, my goldfish but um, if you have any experience with that especially with fancy goldfish uh, being hibernate um, I would want uh, to know a lot uh, about that and I could maybe do another video about that subject uh, talking a little bit more about this uh, I just want to say this though uh, before I kind of close uh, well end up the video uh, is that right now I really can't uh, do hibernation for my goldfish because as I said uh, right now they are kept with uh, other species of fish fish that couldn't uh, sustain that uh, big temperature switch I mean I, I would definitely lose a lot of uh, my fish if I did that um, and since I'm uh, working my way out to actually upgrade my aquarium eventually I really I really want to uh, maximize all my effort into uh, actually upgrading the size of the aquarium before uh, um, looking for uh, more about temperature or looking for like dividing aquariums and I have like goldfish in one and other fish in, in another uh, I, I really think for the most part right now the best I can do is just concentrate myself to uh, get the biggest aquarium I can so uh, my two stunt goldfish can actually get some growth uh, to them but yeah I definitely uh, appreciate the advice that um, Caitlin and Chris 1BXL have given me uh, please um, check out their channel they are really uh, great at what they do um, so I know for sure that uh, Caitlin have uh, way bigger uh, and more um, healthier goldfish at the end of the day I mean m mine are really interesting and all but uh, she have really huge one uh, trust me and obviously Chris uh, everyone know, knows him for his amazing breeding project uh, and he's making me learn so much and I think um, you should uh, and you could learn quite a lot from him so make sure to check their channel um, I'm definitely going to check out uh, the idea of hibernation I'm just saying for now um, I'm going to have to wake uh, not wake my, but work my way for uh, getting a bigger aquarium uh, so that's what I'm concentrating myself uh, the most at especially since I think the temperature I'm keeping them in uh, is good uh, but as, as I said, I do uh, small uh, temperature uh, switch uh, throughout the year. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm I'm just saying uh, 
I'm going to do more research and I hope they will help me uh, to do so. So please leave a like, uh, comment and uh, if you haven't, subscribe to my channel as well as the two I mentioned before. Bye!